Well, that's close. Okay, so don't really know where to start. Um, this is going to be fucking awkward. I'm going to have to fucking edit this out. So my name's Amy. Um, I'm leaving to go to Australia for a year on the 1st of Feb. Um, I'm pretty scared, but very excited. Um, I've just been to my group session, which um, I have been to for three months. Um, something that the mental health service offered me when I had a bit of a breakdown last year. Um, and yes, they offered me this group session. I didn't think it was going to help, um, but it definitely did a little bit. Um, and I've just been back today. So the reason I wanted to sort of just say something really is that... Um, there was someone sat next to me, um, someone new to the group, and some of the things that they said made me feel really upset um, because I knew exactly how this person was feeling. They said that they didn't want things to carry on anymore. Um, and yeah, I know exactly how that felt and it made me feel really, really upset. Um, definitely had some tears in my eyes at one point. Um, so I just wanted to say, I, like, all I wanted to say to him was, you know, it's going to get better. Like things do get better and I know it's easy said than done um but I've been in that position where people were telling me you know it'll get better just keep going things will get better and I just thought no they won't I don't see how things can get any better the only way out of this is just to end it um and so I knew exactly how this person was feeling and I know a lot of people do feel like the only way out is just to end it and that does make me really upset because I know exactly how that feels and not even like less than a year ago, nine months ago, um, I was in exactly the same position and if someone had said to me, you know, in nine months time, you're going to be feeling amazing and off to travel the world on your own, um, I would have thought, really? like, no, definitely not. I would have thought, you know, in nine months time, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, but something in me clicked. I woke up one day and I just thought, no, I've had enough. I'm not going to do this anymore. I don't want to live my life like this. There's no point getting up every day and feeling shit. And I think the only person that can do that is yourself. People telling you things and helping you, me saying this, whatever, doesn't help. And I've had so many people tell me, you know, it will get better, this will happen, blah, 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 you'll feel better, smile through it, you know, what have you got to be sad about, you've got an amazing life, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't work like that, something in me just clicked and I thought, no, and I think the main thing that I do want to say is that you have to want to change, so you have to want to want to do something with your life, but the the hardest thing is having a purpose um so the main thing that helped me have a purpose was meeting um a lady called tracy um she's now like a mum to me um and she helped me with exercise and going to the gym and again it's another cliche when people say exercise helps go for a walk if you're feeling sad go to the gym whatever and it's it is really hard but you need that little, you know, whatever motivation you have left, whether it's 1%, 0.1%, you know, if you don't think you've got any motivation, there is that little bit in you that you can just think, I'm going to do this and give yourself a goal to work towards. Not that needs to be achieved, you know, it doesn't need to be achieved, but if you can work towards, I don't know, being able to lift 10 kilograms without dying um I've just done last week I did 60 kilogram deadlifts which for me is amazing um I didn't ever think that I'd be able to lift that much weight um and obviously it's only going to go up from there um I'm completely waffling I don't know what is happening to this person that was a group don't you know don't end it because you cause you will cause more hurt for everyone else and you've got I know you've got to be selfish and thinking it's not fair on you to keep going through all that when you know other people will suffer for a little this is what I used to think other people would suffer 
for a little bit of time, but they'd get over it because that's what, you know, the human body does. You get over things like that. But there is so much in life to enjoy. And I mean, I can't express how excited I am to go to Australia and, you know, be in the sun, go surfing, scuba diving, snorkeling, um, you know, pet koalas, everything, all that stuff. And I never thought I would be able to do that. And there was many occasions where I just thought, no, I can't go on anymore. I've, I'm going to end it. And obviously I wouldn't be here to know about that if I had, but I am very glad I didn't because my family are so excited for me and I know what I want from life now. Um, and it feels so good to be happy. And I don't think, I think I don't realise how happy I am now until today at group, I was obviously with other people that aren't happy. Um, aren't happy in their life, aren't happy with themselves and I think it took me going back today to realise how good I am um, and how happy I am and how far I've come in the last um, like six months, a year. Um, yeah, okay, right, let's see how this goes. Um, okay. okay, so I just wanted to add a few things so I don't think I was very clear. Um, Basically, I've, I've struggled with depression and anxiety um, for quite a while in my life. Started out as a kid. I was a horrible kid. Um, I was so angry and I just I hated everyone. <laughs> um, always argued, like, four people. Um, and, yeah, it got to... You know, things happened in my life. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that. Um, and this time last year, I'd just realized that I hated university I was there for a year and a half doing biology um I hated the way university was run I hated lectures I hated all the spare time we had to do nothing I had nothing to do in it that was the problem um I had didn't really have that many friends I did have some um and in second year I definitely made um more of that so I went out more I joined hockey team cricket team um and I did do more things but I got to the end of my second year first semester exams and um I just thought I hate this um I don't want to be here so I quit um and that was such a big thing in my life um for me to quit that and I came home moved back um and I was really excited to sort of start again um and I got a job at a place um which I'm not going to mention um and it was awful so um I spent the whole time sat doing nothing we had no work to do at all um and no matter how much we asked our manager um there was just no work for us to do um they couldn't give us anything to do there just was nothing um and it really just put me down because I had no purpose no one was relying on me for anything no one needed me um I just felt like I was useless um and that went on for three months um and yeah then I um after I met Tracy I had enough courage to quit that job um it was quite messy but I quit um and during that time I was so down I've never felt like that before I didn't even think it was possible to feel that down um and yeah it was hard to get up you know all the cliches it was hard to get out of bed blah blah, blah. unless you've been through it it's so hard to describe um just it's just, it's just black, it's just dark, um, yeah, yeah, so I don't really know where I was going with this whole thing, um, I think I just needed to get it out, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I think it's good for me to have a bit of a release, um, and I mean, if it helps anyone, I don't fucking know, probably no one's gonna even see this, um, but I mean, it's helped me, I'll, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm gonna try and keep um, things updated even just for myself um, on how things go in Australia and hopefully I'll stay up um, and have the best time ever um, and yeah hopefully um, everything stays as good as I hope it does um, yeah <laughs>